work towards towards the World Cup because in the end that's that's the ultimate. Um, I think we had a we had a few bumps in the road, had a couple of tough games and, and narrow losses in uh, in some games, but uh, also in a way that kind of built the character of the younger guys and guys who, who started their journey maybe 18 months ago. So yeah, England's definitely uh, a very physical team. They, they've showed it against uh, the All Blacks last weekend and. Um, they're playing some great rugby and yeah. The set piece is always huge at the World Cup. Um, how much should you guys be focused on that? Are you quite confident about where you are at the moment? And we want to keep on you know, working hard. Uh, you know, obviously, our, the way we train uh, is uh, probably uh, more tougher than the, you know, the actual uh, uh, game on a Saturday. So yeah, we have to keep on uh, you know, uh, yeah, chasing our standards every week, improving as a team yeah, because it's not going to get any easier. An inspiration for many not only regular players, but people in South Africa. He had a very hard upbringing where it wasn't sometimes about the type of rugby boots he could wear for training, but more about what food he was going to eat that night because they were just so underprivileged. So to see his rise to the top and know that he could potentially be the first black South African captain to bring that Webellis Cup to South Africa would be incredibly inspirational. The danger is that England thinks it will be the same South Africa from the semi-final that turns out at the final. Explain your scoreline to me first. So, 42-21. 16 penalties. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. No tries at all? Yeah, a couple, couple of tries. Of, couple of tries. Two tries to it's one. It's going to be a great game. say thank you to all of you beautiful South African people. Um, it's really been a tough journey. We've been together for 20 weeks. I think this week has been the most amazing one. You know, coming back here and celebrating with you guys. Your messages um, have really been amazing. You really brought us together. Um, I can't thank the team enough for all the hard work we've put it together. Thank you for your help into my captaincy. And guys, I just want to tell you this. Look, how we're all different, different races, different backgrounds, and we came together for South Africa, we made it happen. And I'm saying to you today, just take a look around you. There's different races, different people from different backgrounds, but look how you're making it special for us. So I'm saying it's time for us South Africans to stop fighting, stop arguing. Let's put South Africa first, we agree, and we move forward as a country. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you. Cheers. <laughs>